What's up everybody? Carl here with another Ubuntu server tutorial. Today's tutorial was a viewer requested tutorial and it is how to set up a Garius mod dedicated server on Ubuntu server. I'm going to be using Ubuntu server 14. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? First thing I want to do is go ahead and crack open whatever terminal program you're going to use to log into your server. I'm going to use Putty. I'm going to log with my username of Carl and my password. I'm going to be doing this in a very clean installation of Ubuntu server, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the process here of going and typing sudo apt get update. Generally a good command to run after a clean install or after a while. Once our update is complete, we're going to go ahead and start installing some software that, we, that we're going to need for this particular instance. Now, the next two um, installs I'm going to run are 32-bit dependencies that are required for users that are using 64-bit operating systems. So if you're running Ubuntu Server 64-bit, you need to run these following two commands. If you're running it in 32-bit, you do not have to use these two commands. And even if you do, uh, the installation shouldn't work because it's already included with everything. So sudo apt-get install lib 32 gcc1 this dependency is required to make steam cmd work in a 64-bit environment all right the next one's going to be sudo apt-get install lib 32st dc plus plus six. This is a 32-bit th uh, dependency for uh, SRCDS, which is what our Gary's Mod server is going to be running on. So we need to install this as well. All right, now we need to do an install screen. So sudo apt git install screen. My package or my server comes with it pre-installed, um, uh, but uh, there's a good chance that you'll need to install it. Just go ahead and install it. Screen's going to be used so we can attach the server uh, to it. So when we close our terminal program, the server is still running. Because if we just launch it normally and then we'll say close PuTTY or whatever terminal program we're using, the server is going to stop. It's going to crash. So if we need screen to it, screen, we can attach things to it. Close that screen. We can always revisit it later. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, setting up Steam CMD since Steam CMD is going to manage uh, the install and the updating of the Gary's Mod server. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're in the user directory. Um, you can tell that you, you can tell if you're in the home directory by looking at your command line. If you see by your username, it says Carl at how to, and then you get the little tilde or the squiggle. Um, whatever yours says, as long as you get the little squiggle there or the tilde. Uh, you're in your home directory. That's where you want to be. If you're not, just go ahead and type CD and enter and it'll automatically move it to your home directory. So let's go ahead and make a new directory. So sudo mkdir. We're going to call it Steam CMD. We're going to go ahead and change directories to go into that new folder we just created. So CD Steam CMD. Next, we want to download Steam CMD. So let me know what you don't need to do. sudo wget http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam power dot com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot vz Go ahead and use the ls command to verify that the file did in fact download. You see there in the in the um, in the output that we have the Steam CMD for Linux.tar.gz. Uh, next, we want to do is we need to well we need to unzip it. So sudo tar dash xv zf and Steam CMD underscore Linux dot tar. Go ahead and do a quick ls just to verify that the big files and folders are there, which they are. Next, we want to go ahead and launch Steam CMD so it installs and updates itself. So sudo period forward slash Steam CMD dot sh. All 
All right. Once it's finished, you're going to see the Steam um, um, uh, directive li listed on the uh, command line there. We're going to go ahead and log in as anonymous. We do not have to have a Steam account that actually owns Gary's mod in order to um, run a server. Some games do. Do Steam, Steam Steam Deeper, but like Unturned requires you to own Unturned. They have to log into a Steam account with Unturned on it, but Gary's mod, you can log in as anonymous. So, log in as anonymous. Now we need to go ahead and do the force install directory. So, force underscore install underscore gir. I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, dot dot forward slash gmod. What it's going to do is it's going to create a new folder in the home directory called gmod, which is where it's going to install the game. Now we need to tell it what game to, uh, what server to download. So we're going to do app underscore update. And then the ID, which is 4020. And then we're going to see 4020. And then we're going to validate. Uh, it's a large game. It's going to take it a minute to download. Just be patient. Alright, once it's done down, you can go ahead and type in quit. It will go ahead and close out uh, Steam CMD. Next we want to do is we want to go ahead and launch a new screen. This allows us to attach the Gary's Mod server to the screen. So when we close our terminal window, Gary's Mod uh, doesn't crash. So screen with a capital S flag, so a negative capital S. We're going to go ahead and just call it Gmod. It's something to easily identify for later. I'll go ahead and get into that later. Once you open the new screen, you're going to see you're going to have a brand new um, clean uh, terminal window. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, move over to our new Gmod directory. So if we're going to go ahead and just type in uh, CD. It'll take us back to the home directory. Go ahead and type in LS. You'll see that there's a new Gmod directory. So CD Gmod. To get to that new directory, to go ahead and type in LS again, and you'll see all the uh, server files there. The one we're going to be using is going to be the uh, SRCDS underscore run. So let's go ahead and get that started. So uh, period forward slash SRCDS underscore run space. We're going to go ahead and use the dash game flag and Gary mod. Go ahead and use the plus max players. I'm going to just set mine to eight because you know. Why not? And then go ahead and do another plus um, map. And I'm going to go ahead and just use gm underscore construct. Construct. I'm going to go ahead and link um, a link in the description to where you can find more flags and we can see what more options are. So check out that uh, link to the wiki uh, in the description. Press enter and the game will the server will start. Server may take a little bit longer to start because it is the first time. You'll need to create some log files and other things. Just be patient while it works. Alright, the server is up and you should now be able to connect into it. So, we're going to go ahead and do is press control and then AD. That's going to detach us from the screen window. Uh, to reattach to that screen window, we can just type in screen negative R and then Gmod is what we named our screen and you'll be able to connect right back into it. This terminal will be open until you either manually close it or if uh, Ubuntu is restarted. Uh, the only thing you need to do now is if you need to port forward, you need to port forward ports 27015 and 27005 for both TCP and UDP. That's going to be required uh, if you're on a home network. If you're using a virtual private server, you won't need to do any port forwarding. But if you do have a firewall installed on your server, you'll need to open up those, those ports um, to be able to connect into it. And uh, that's really all there is to it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, show me leave me a like. If you want to see more uh, tutorial videos in the future, subscribe. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, this video was a suggestion by a viewer, leave it in the comment section or send me a message and we'll see what we can do to get, to get it done. And uh, hey guys, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.